Andrew Dye here on the site of a Unity project that's not exactly a Unity project. This is the second pilot home that Bensonwood and Unity are building as part of a joint development agreement, a collaboration with CertainTeed and CertainTeed's parent company, St. Gobain. You may know CertainTeed as a manufacturer of building materials, roofing, siding, insulation, and sheetrock. And we've been collaborating with CertainTeed for the last few years on some R&D projects. We've benefited from CertainTeed's resources and knowledge, and they've benefited from having access to our real-world experience and guys like Greg, who's installing those roof panels. So we've been collaborating with them in the shop and on site. This project isn't exactly a Unity project because it's making use of some materials and assemblies that we don't typically use. You'll see the vinyl siding that was pre-installed on these wall panels in the shop. If you look closely, you'll see some fiberglass insulation, which we don't typically use. Uh, there are membranes that aren't typical for Unity assemblies. But the basic design is Unity. This is uh, what we call our skinny VAR model. And the methods are similar. This was all done in a 3D model, and all the parts and pieces were elaborated. All the panels were prefabricated in our shop, and they're being put together quickly on site here. In fact, this morning, there was just the slab foundation here on site with all the panel bundles staged adjacent to that slab foundation. And now it's about four o'clock in the afternoon and the crew is on track to have all of the panels installed for this house. The prefabricated components of the garage here will be assembled tomorrow. Again, a number of the materials that you're seeing used here, for example, this yellowish exterior insulation is not typical for Unity. It's part of an R&D project that we're doing in collaboration with CertainTeed and St. Gobain. Beth Campbell, who's the project manager for this project, Unity project manager, has been helping to organize this, schedule this, basically run the show from the office. Beth, how's it going so far? It's going great. I can't believe that we are as far along as we are in one day's worth of work. As you can see behind me, we're putting on the roof panels, which are some of the finishing touches of getting this house up today. And in general, this, this project has been fantastic. This is an R&D project for us. We've uh, joined forces with CertainTeed, who is a materials manufacturer, to try out some of their materials in a different assembly than what we typically use at Unity Homes. And for them, it's a great opportunity to be able to do a, a finish to finish panel. Um, using all of their materials. So, and that aspect is going well. And another aspect I think I'd like to mention, Andrew, that's going remarkably well is we often don't work in an urban setting. And I guess we're a little suburban here in Keene, New Hampshire, but we are on a, a you know, just under a 10,000 square foot lot, which is maybe a little bit bigger than a, than a typical urban lot, but still a small, tight little neighborhood here and we've been able to make it work really well, you know, without having to close down the street or anything like that. So I think that's a, that's a neat aspect of this project that we are able to also build on a relatively tight lot. And for the neighbors, this is really great to have this amount of construction happen in one day. They're not here for three months listening to the saws and impact drivers for three months. So I think even though for a few days out of their summer, it's, it's a big noise impact, relatively speaking, compared to stick built uh, site construction, this is, a, this is a much shorter impact on the neighborhood. That's a great point. Glad to hear that everything's going so well and this house we're anticipating will be finished when? October, November of this year. About three to four months. Uh-huh. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Beth. Yeah, thanks, Andrew. So using those long screws to set the panels when they're in place. And once a few screws are in the panels, then the panel can be released from the crane and the next panel set up to pick. Greg is the ground crew here. He's setting up the next roof panel to be picked by the crane. Jay's keeping an eye on him to make sure he does everything right. <laughs> so the straps are set up so that the roof panel is going to hang at approximately the right angle as it goes up. Swinging over to get out of the trees. 
Jay, are those wires for sensors? So as part of the R&D effort here with these panels, Certainty has pre-installed sensors inside the panels to monitor temperature, moisture, and other variables to see how they're going to perform in real life. And the design of these panels is such that there's a cleat at the top of the panel that fits into a groove in the ridge beam, and that basically secures the panel in place until the screws can be driven. Few more panels to go. Here they go with the last roof panel. Get a few screws in that panel, and it'll be a wrap. Not bad for a day's work. This is Andrew Dye signing off from the Thornton Way Project in Keene, New Hampshire. <laughs>